On this episode of Small Biz 518, we're here at Brew Crew in Albany, learning about their vast selection of local craft beers. Mark, yeah. thank you so much for having us at right, the Brew Crew. Thanks for coming here. It's an honor to be here. I'm, uh, I spent a few dollars here on some beers. Appreciate it, thank you. Um, so tell us about how the business got started. Well, we were young back then. It was about 34 years ago. There was a man named John Oliver. He was 78 years old in 1986, and he wanted to retire. We cut a deal with him. It took a lot of hard work and a lot of hard time. It wasn't an overnight thing, that's for sure. Uh, this is a family business. You want to talk about uh, who's yes, in the business uh, with you? My, my brother Joe and I, we've been partners since the, since the beginning and a couple of years after we started this place and got it going. It's a completely different business than it used to be. I mean, when we started, the biggest beer was Jenny and it was uh, probably 40% of the market in Albany at the time. The mainstream brands became less and less important, got a smaller share of the market and the craft beer industry took off. Now what we did is we recognized early that variety was one of the attractions that we had. We only had a few things that were actually selling. So pretty much within a couple of years, we had several hundred brands, which is nothing now, but nobody had anything like a couple hundred brands. Right now we have 3,500 wow. brands. But when we had 200, we had more than everybody else. How has the local beer scene changed over the last 30 years? Years ago, there was no craft beer. Since then, I mean, Nine Pins doing great. We've got a distillery downtown. J.S. Taylor, Ford Orange. I mean, on our shelf there, you can see. And then there's ones that aren't too far away, like Paradox up in the Adirondacks. Mark, can you talk about the membership program you guys offer? Uh, we have a, a point system. If you come in, you put your phone number in. For every dollar you spend, you get a point. And as the points accumulate, you can get prizes and you can get discounts. Being on our list, when we get unusual beers, if you're a member of the point system, you're the first ones to know. You've got bottles, cans, but you also got growlers. Can you talk a little bit about what people can get here? Yeah, we have 18 draft beers uh -huh. that we, we sell all the time and they rotate through. And a lot of the things that we put on the draft are things that you can't get in cans or bottles. But we also have a canning machine over there. Well, we're a family owned business. My father, he would be back doing the empties. My mother for years was going down the middle of the aisle making sure the bottles didn't have dust on them. How has the 518 community been really supportive of your business? My brother and I are, grew up here. They've been, they've been great. You know, we stand behind the counter. We know the customers. We know the people. The community has been great. That wraps it up for this episode of Small Biz 518. For the best selection of local craft beers and ciders, visit them here in Albany or Westmere or online at brew-crew.com.